Assalamu alaikum everyone. Did I just make you a believer? Do I make uh, people believe in what I say because um, I say it and it happens? I'm not trying to boast. I'm not trying to sound cocky. I'm not trying to sound overconfident. But damn, when Adam actually thinks about something, it happens. Okay? If I am more inclined towards something that, hey, this is going to be bad, it actually becomes bad. If, I, if I'm inclined into something that is going to be good, it actually turns out to be good. Three weeks ago, 1,000 people witnessed a video called uh, Look at this pattern, out of which 52 said, yes, you make a lot of sense. And most of them, because everyone follows their own emotion and, uh, you know, uh, I don't know what kind of comments did we have. Does this stuff really matter if the U.S. SEC causing volatility in the market? This is a new coin. It just needs some exposure. Cardano. I guess Pepe break upside. You know, Pepe melt faces. Okay. Everyone, when you tell them that I can feel bad, they actually try to come and, and attack you. And I, I love living those comments and reading those comments be, because by time, they actually, I don't know, they, they disappear. Where, where are those people now? Thing is... Let's go back to history. I might say there's a pattern here, and this is the only thing that really makes sense, which is almost a uh, right angle ascending broadening wedge. Okay, we can actually broadening wedge. Creates that angle of right angle, and it's also ascending, and that's why it's, uh, it's called like that. And it, it looks like this. And this is what I think Pepe really has, okay? This is the closest thing according to my research. So basically this whole thing, it take me hours, guys. I always like the video. I always tell you that basically you have one, two, three, right? Three touches right there. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six. It takes three touches to make a trend line. So this trend line here does look like a resistance does look like a support and let's actually now say that if you start to pump back up then you may be looking at Pepe moving up to 21,400 and we might actually see this thing go listen to this one carefully you haven't broken the pattern just yet even though this is a bearish pattern but it's not really broken so as long as you're not gonna break it it's just there it's just floating and if you start to break below retest fail let's talk about the next drop that's going to be from the top to the bottom and you do have probably a move down to 6334 that's all all right if you're listening so can you please like this because that's everything that literally happened right literally literally happened and today uh, or maybe two days ago you ended up breaking it you took the stop losses for good there was a there was a small manipulation where you pumped up you did something like this and then from there you dropped down for good okay this was very very good manipulation right there this was pure manipulation for some moment i even say that hey you're coming down you took that stop loss as well and then you pump back up you came down you even retested a couple of times this pattern was totally manipulated and then from there people thought that hey we're not going down anymore this is a fake out let's actually enter because we're about to move up and then they dropped it they dropped it really really badly and i think yes it's coming you have a technical target 6600 or 6033 whatever and that's it for the video on paper i'm going to see you in the next one in the office